okay, it's still September 11th. Um, and I just made two short videos about typing letters into my browser URL bar and how I'm going to clear my history again. How certain things were coming up mysteriously that seemed to be showing relationships. Um, and then one of the letters that I typed in was, the first letter I typed in, and this was just random, was F. And for some reason, every time I say this, I think L for some reason. Uh, anyhow, um, I typed in F, and let's see if it comes up the same way this time. Yeah. So, Facebook, Fred Meyer, Fox News, Food Near Me, and then three specific links that I've visited in the past. I've tried this on another browser window, and it looks like this Facebook, Fred Meyer, Fox News... Um, is something that comes up on all the browsers, so it might be linked specifically to Google. I don't know if Facebook, Fred Meyer, Fox News, and Food Near Me are themselves linked to these last three links on here. If they are, uh, it would add additional perspective. For example, Fox seems to be code for somebody who's... Um, Sneaky. It's, it's, it's kind of a, um, a stereotype about foxes that probably comes from um, Europe and stuff. Food has to do with human trafficking. I don't know any simpler way to put it. Um, I don't think that's inaccurate. It's a code for human trafficking. So taking, it might not be that. It might be more than that. It might be something not quite that. Um, so that's actually a, a good thing. For, I mean, that would be something I'd like to understand a little better, the idea of food. It has to do with um, pre predation. That's maybe a better way to put it, predation, or um, the idea of eating as being some sort of way of getting victory. It's almost like cannibalism, but... I don't know, it's very strange that so the idea of a person is food or the idea of a victory is food. Um, so it's got a very predatory feeling to it. Um, or maybe not predatory might not be the right word, but this is, so I'm having to switch my mindset. It's interesting because my brain has been tra trained either by external sources or the way I've lived my life or whatever, not to see things, to see things in a very different way than I understand this structure around me sees things. So it never really occurred to me to see food, for example, in this way. Um, and so I'm having to, I'm having to see things in a way that it's not, I'm not accustomed to and not comfortable with in order to understand, you know, if you have an enemy, <clears throat> And I, I didn't choose to have an enemy. The enemy cho chose me. Um, if you have an enemy, you know, that you have to deal with, you're being forced to deal with, you have to, you know, it helps to understand your enemy and how they think. Um, and I'm trying to understand it without totally making it part of my being because I think there's this is a, a problematic way of thinking and, I, and this is one of the reasons why I don't think it should be imposed on people as it is being imposed on everybody in the world right now. I think it's linked to conflict, eternal conflict. I don't get in, I don't want to get too meta right now, but um, I think anybody that, everybody seems to be participating in this and I think everybody would do really well to step back and, and get more meta because most people are raised up in it. They're engulfed in it. And it's harder to see things around you when you're engulfed in them. But when you come as an outsider, sometimes you can see things more clearly. And I see that this is a system that has been designed to keep people in an eternal state of conflict. And the reason why 
there is a desire by you know people who are well you know the the people who have grown wealthy from this system to keep people in an eternal state of conflict is because it makes them more wealthy and more powerful and if the conflict is resolved um they lose power. It's like keeping everybody off balance at all times. When you're in a state of conflict, you're going to be off balance because you're constantly dealing with the conflict and you're not paying attention to other things that are happening in the background. Uh, anyhow, I was speculating, I was really stumbling around with these last three links. Why is West Texas, you know, and country music. And, you know, this is what I, again, I said I kind of came to this trying to find answers to what happened with the Buddy Holly plane crash and why that suddenly came up in my dreams, being something stuck in the back of a refrigerator. And why that would be linked to either heraldry or specifically Robert Moan or the Moan family, which is part of Chris's family tree. And then I closed it all down, and I went to another letter, and I looked at that. And then the song came to me by the doors called Texas Radio and the Big Beat. And I feel that I don't know how much knowledge people have. Does everybody know that the Buddy Holly plane crash was an assassination? I'm thinking maybe not. So that part, part of the problem with my position is that I don't know what people know and what they don't know because they all lie to me. But, um, so, for example, I didn't necessarily know that everybody pretty much knows about the code, but if they know about the code, you can lie, you can lie in this code, but does everybody know about the assassination system? When I pointed out, for example, that elders are being abused with directed energy weapons in care homes, does everybody know that and they don't care or they're making money from it so they don't care that their grandparents are being actually made ill in care homes on purpose for profit? Or do they not believe it? Do they not know it and maybe not believe it and have their doubts about it? Um, and so that's what I've had to figure out. What do people know and are pretending they don't know? And what do people not know and need to be educated about, you know, as I educate myself about this stuff? I suspect that everybody knows about the code more or less. I don't know how in-depth everybody knows about it. I now think that people don't know about the directed energy weapons attacks and the implants and all of that in as thorough a way um, as a thorough way. I just don't think people are that far gone that they would put their grandparents in a care home and allow them to be abused and murdered in these places or that other, they would allow other things to go on that are going on knowingly. So looking at this album cover, Texas Radio, I don't know why it's called The Wasp. I have not figured that one out yet. I just Again, this is just now coming to me. So I see brown around the outside. I see black, white, and yellow. So there's brown around the outside of the album cover. The word doors is in white. The word LA woman is in black. And then there's this um, photo with a yellow background. And they're in this shape. This is sort of like the shape of a TV set screen. And they're surrounded by the brown. I think that brown, the way it's used in this code, is linked to people who are not white. Um, there is a family name brown. It might have to do with that, but probably not. I think this is actually about race. And then looking at the way L.A. woman looks here, um... It looks like Law Woman. Let's see, I don't think there's any way I can highlight it. So L A W Law. Law O Man. Law of Man. Um Chris's great great grandfather's last name or first name was Lawson. Law Son. L A W S O N. 
Um, but I think this is about, you know, law. Like, what what is the law? That's been a big issue with me because the law, I mean, very fundamental laws with regards to me and my family are being broken. I keep saying, well, maybe there's some sort of secret law. Is that appropriate? Is that even legal? Probably not. Um, but then there's also this idea that we are the law, that we are going to say, look, what you're doing is wrong. This is what you're supposed to do. I don't know. You know, so the law, son, son, law, law of man. Um, the word man seems to relate to Chris. So this was always about Chris, really. I mean, even though I've suffered essentially the same sort of attacks as Chris has, and I also have been forced into a male role as well as a female role because I was a single mother, sole support of my daughter for many years. Um, and that's the truth. There were, there were years where nobody was supporting me at all. Um, and I was doing this all on a, you know, salary, my own salary. But um, this was always focused around Chris, because Chris is a man. But this is a problem. We have to stop doing this with making men better than women, because women do everything men do and more. And that is the truth. You know, we... Um, work full-time, we support families, and often when we're supporting families, we're also at home doing all the housework. And then we're expected to perform better than a man in the workplace because we don't get any recognition unless we are better than everybody. So stop treating women like second-class citizens. Now is the time to stop. Uh, and the same goes for people of different races. I mean, this is just ridiculous. This is the most outdated, ridiculous kind of thinking. It's just like this other stuff, like keeping people in perpetual state of conflict, and it's not unrelated. This is a way to keep power in the hands of the already powerful and to keep power out of the hands of more deserving people who don't happen to be white and who don't happen to be men. So just stop it. Okay, so anyway, this was about Chris, but now it's about me. And Chris, but Chris is Chris has decided. Chris hasn't decided necessarily anything on his own accord because, obviously, because Chris was a man, they focused a lot more destructive energy on Chris. They focused a you know fair amount of destructive energy on me. Don't get me wrong, and by they I mean people who are being paid by our enemies. So people that should have been protecting us, including the government, all all three branches of the United States government, been paid off by these already powerful men to harm us our whole life. And they're still being paid to harm us and to look the other way when harm is done to us and not to protect us, but rather to protect the already powerful, which is not, which it, I am calling un-American because America is about equality. It's not about stamping down. It's not about slavery, even though I'm enslaved. And it's not about stomping down people to see if they can pick themselves up again and again and again and again. That's not what it's about. It says right in our documents it's about equal rights and equality. So, um, you know, shame on you, those, those people who have participated in this, protecting the powerful against the powerless. Um, so, they focused a lot of energy on destroying Chris from a young age. They focused a lot of energy on getting misleading him, getting him addicted to drugs. And then um, they created this whole, uh, there's a word for it, I can't remember, where you create a fake city around somebody. They did that around Chris. That's what Portland is. It's a fake city. And other places, but Seattle, but Portland, because Portland was his, you know, they it's, dressed up in nice words like a playground and whatever. But no, this is, was, he, Chris should have been far more successful than he was. And he should have, you know, he should have been, if he was in this position, like I think he was, well, I mean, he was, where he should have been the person that, you know, um, ends a wasteland. He shouldn't have been destroyed. He should have been actually um, groomed for success, not for failure. Anyway, 
I think Jim Morrison knew more about this than your average dude because his father was a Navy admiral. And I think Texas Radio and the Big Beat is a hint about, I think it's linked to Buddy Holly. And the Buddy Holly plane crash had a huge impact on this generation, as I said in another video. Especially if you were an aspiring rock and roll musician. So according to this song, the Texas Radio and the Big Beat, so I think this is the idea of beating someone like with a stick, but it's also beat like the you know beating a drum and even the Beatles perhaps who whose name was inspired by the crickets and radio itself is linked to frequency based attacks because it's frequencies um, and so it's you know the Navy again Morrison's father was a Navy admiral Texas I don't know why Texas is so important. It might be because Mike Payne was born in Texas and his family is from Texas. It might have to do with the oil industry. It might have to do with the cattle industry. I'm certain that it has to do with NASA. So it's probably all of those things. So sometimes it's hard to you know, draw the line between where finance between finance, family lines, and um, these other things like uh, NASA, which was dependent on finance. NASA apparently did a lot of stuff they probably shouldn't have been doing in part to get finance. That's my impression from the stuff that I've been reading linked to mind control and NASA. Um, but why does Texas radio come out of the Virginia swamps? Again, that's probably has to do with um, mind control and um, military, CIA, U.S. government links. But also, Virginia being the early colonies. So Chris's family came to this country, the Newman family line came to this country in the 1600s, in the early 1600s, and they lived in Virginia for several generations. The word swamp, for some reason, um, I feel is significant, and I, I figured it out last night, and now it's not, I can't remember. Uh, I've heard a live version of this where he cha he doesn't say backbeat, he says blackbeat, which is interesting because that links it with that song Roll Over Beethoven because um, when Chuck Berry sang Roll Over Beethoven, he said backbeat. When the Beatles sang Roll Over Beethoven, a Chuck Berry song, they said blackbeat. And black having a double meaning, um, both a, you know, a racial meaning, also meaning covert, underground, dark. Mean and rueful. I love the friends I've gathered together on this thin la raft. Thin, the word thin comes up a lot. I think it means T. It means, I, I see it as letters. T-H-I-N. Stop the horse, I know. So in other words, thin. He means he wants to see have the vision restored, I think. But he's on a thin raft because it's a dangerous um, and sort of small group, you know, in dangerous mission. A small group on a dangerous mission, sort of like the, you know, everybody in the Millennium Falcon and Star Wars, that kind of thing. We have constructed pyramids in honor of our escaping. This is the land where the pharaoh died. So this idea of escaping. So then we get here, okay, the Negroes in the forest, brightly feathered. This is about my daughter's father's family. I'm going to have to stop here. So, um... I would suggest not being too thrown off by this, but Negro is another word. It means black. It was used in the 60s. 
um, they lived in the forest, okay? I mean, it's the Humboldt, came from Humboldt County, northern Humboldt County. There's lots and lots and lots of forests, redwood trees everywhere, feathered because they're Native American. They're not actually African American. They're Native American. They are saying, forget the night, live with us in forests of azure blue. So in other words, this was the... This was the... Um, diversion that was built for me. I need to keep reading out loud, Chris. Can you make the game? Yeah. Thank you. This was the diversion that was built for me. So, um, out here on the perimeter there are no stars. Out here we are stone, immaculate. So, your are rocks, rocks, stones, rocks. Um, and so there are no stars. The celebrity system and all of that kind of stuff was not uh, a concern. Um, so this is, it's a diversion that was built for me. There was a diversion built for Chris. It was a different type of diversion. So this is the, that's the main thing I wanted to point out, that that's what this was here. Um, it's symbolized in other ways. It's symbolized with quilts sometimes, this idea of just being, it's just lulling someone into um, a distracted state or um, a place where they're not going to recognize what's happening. Um, and... Then he brings it back to Texas Radio and the Big Beat. So I think he's linking the Buddy Holly plane crash with all of this other stuff, possibly. I think it is, because I think he knew, because of his specialized background. And um, I've already talked about the song Crystal Ship, a similar um, type of thing, specialized knowledge. Now, why is it called the Wasp? I don't know yet. However, it could be the letters when architect, sun, and I think P is linked to the number 16, so that's the destruction. So, the destruction of the sun, the darkness. There are other possible things that might be linked into that, but that's probably the most obvious to me. There's also the word asp. 